Everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I've got my gorgeous client Donna. She's come in and we've gone in with a full fresh new set today. So I've removed all of her previous acrylic and now I'm going in, I've gone in with a clear base with crystal glass from CJP. So we sculpted that out after our usual prep, uh, pushing back cuticles, etching the nail plate and then dehydrating and all the rest of that good stuff and then I'm going in with this gorgeous new colour that's just been released um, from CJP and it's called Cola Cubes so I'm just giving this a light wash over the nail I just wanted a base of colour because I'm going to go in with some glitter from CJP so this is called Fuchsia Shine and it's a very oh, it's a super fine holographic burgundy wine colour and it is stunning you can see it in a minute look at that it's absolutely gorgeous so she wanted loads of glitter all over these she wanted them very sparkly because we're going in with some darker autumnal colors so another one from the autumn kit i'm going in with the chunky glitter at the tip i've forgotten its name um but i will i will get it in the description box below or i'll let people know what it is once I've uploaded if you want to know what it is you can get it all in the CJP kit it's the autumn kit and it's beautiful and it's a bargain definitely worth grabbing because you get a load of colors as well and this is also included in the kit and this is called hot ember and it's another stunning deep burgundy color gorgeous to work with very nicely pigmented so I'm using the one monomer I'm also using the Liz Gill brush if anybody wants to know so I always go in at the cuticle first with a full colour nail I like to perfect that and then go in at the tip with another bead and pull it up over the previous bead and I may add a third bead if I, if I need some more coverage there just to make it nice and opaque so just cleaning up all my side walls absolutely loving the new autumn colours that are coming in I'm doing loads more still getting the odd neon and the odd bright nice like bright pinks and oranges and stuff I don't know why I've got some crazy clients the race they go from one extreme to the other they'll probably have bright yellow nails for Christmas <laughs> So on the middle finger we're going in with cola cubes again and I'm going to do a marble on this nail so I'm just going to give it a light wash up towards the cuticle and then I'm going to marble in with the hot ember using very small wet beads just using the very tip of the brush and swooshing it around and again I'll go in with a small bead of cola cubes and then go in with some hot ember so with the darker colours definitely go in with smaller beads of the base colour of the marble if it's just two that you're doing because otherwise the darker colour will completely overtake the lighter colour and you won't see any definition through it So I'm just going to tap in some glitter, so I'm going to go in with the Fuchsia Shine, the very fine holographic burgundy colour. And then I'm going to tap on some chunky ones. So I think it's Pinkie Pie as well that I use in this, it's a very pink metallic hexy mix. I'm not sure if I tap some of this in as well, I go back to this nail. But I'm going in with the burgundy chunky one over this as well. When I get to it, <laughs> here I am with the very fine, and I'm just tapping tiny little bits in. I don't want it to overpower everything that we've done in the design, I just want a little bit of extra sparkle in there, just to give it a little bit more 3D dimension inside the nail. Pinkie 
Please don't look at the state of my nails. At this point, they have been on for ages. Ages. It must be, oh God, coming up four weeks. I don't know about you, but it just becomes a chore to do your own, doesn't it? I don't enjoy it anymore. <laughs> it's just like a, another chore to add to the list of things to do. I used to really enjoy doing my own nails. The novelty's worn off. So again, just tapping in a little bit of that burgundy and following the, the darker lines of the marble. Just to give it that little bit extra. So we're going to go in with an ombre on the index finger. So at the free edge, I'm going in with the gorgeous hot ember. And then I'm going to come over the top with cola cubes. So with any ombre, I always start with my tip colour first. And I sort of brush it up towards the back third leaving the back third really sort of wishy-washy so there's no perfect straight lines or anything because it will interfere with your ombre sort of fade it out as best you can so I'm just going to add a little bit more and just feather it up so it sort of gives a light wash at the back third and then you've got your more pigmented solid colour at the tip and now I'm going in at the cuticle with cola cubes. These colours together are stunning, they really are very autumnal. So I'm just tap tap tapping all of that colour around the cuticle, making sure it's nice and neat and then I'm brushing down and making that nice blend. And if you need to, you can go in at the tip with the tip colour again and blend up with a very small bead in case your, your ombre colour sort of overpowers the other colour, don't be frightened to go back in at the tip, which is what I'm doing here, and just brushing it back up over that colour cubes. And just blending it all out again with a wet brush. So on the thumb, I'm gonna go in with a glitter fade. So I'm going in with colour cubes again. I'm just tapping it all around that cuticle, getting it all nice and neat. Just using the very tip of the brush just to push it right up into that cuticle. And then bringing the rest of the product down. Oh no, I'll tell you I wasn't doing a glitter fade. I'm going in again <laughs> with Fuchsia Shine. Oh, it must have just been too irresistible, this glitter. How gorgeous is it, though? It's so sparkly. This is going to be super popular at Christmas. So again, you only need the tiniest little bit of this. It goes a very long way. So the big 10mm tubes that you get from CJP with the glitters, they will last you ugh, ages. So yeah, we're going in with Pinkie Pie. So I'd realised that I've got this glitter out and I've not used it throughout the set so I'm sure I'll go back to the ring finger and the pinky and I'll pop a little bit of this through it as well just to make it flow through the set. So I only managed to do one hand, I'm very sorry. Um, I was totally out of shot the whole of the second hand so I decided to cut it out, it drove me mad, I couldn't get it in in shot. So I've done all my usual filing, I've encapsulated all of the nails first with crystal glass clear acrylic. And I've done all my usual filing routine with my e-file with a medium carbide drill bit on a medium speed. And then I've gone in with my hand file and perfected the shapes and beveled over the top and smoothed everything out. And now I'm going in with my CJP gripper glue and some crystals. So I'm using some opals and some ABs. And I'm just using my crystallies to pick them up and sort of nudge them where I want them. So I like a little bit of sort of variety when I do like clusters of crystals like this. So I like to use different colours, different sizes and shapes. I think it makes the, the nails look really pretty, I like it. So I've got quite a bigger stone, like a diamond shape one in the middle and then I work my way round that just a design sort of a, a 
pretty crystal placement. So again, I'm just filling in all the little bits. Oh, I'm using the pink opal crystals from CJP as well. Super shiny and pretty. And I'm using light gold Swarovski crystals. I purchased my Swarovski crystals from Blue Streak or Scatter Crystals. If anybody wants the link to those, I can leave them for you. So once that's all dry and where I want it, I'm going to go in with my favourite top coat. And of course, it's the CJP Tack Free Top Gloss. So I'm going to top coat all of the nails and then I'm going to pop them in the LED light for 60 seconds to cure. And you'll get to see the other hand in this because I was actually in shot. So you, the design's a little bit different on the other hand. We've changed up the nails a little bit and the crystal placement's a little bit different. We did a side cluster. But that was completely out of shot as well. <laughs> I am sorry. I know I like to leave both hands in when I'm working. But unfortunately, it just wasn't in shot. But I will get it in shot next, next time. Yeah, so the giveaway that I'm doing is still open. So if you want to go back on my previous video, the one before this, if you click videos at the top of my YouTube channel, it'll bring up the previous video that I did and all the details of my giveaway are in that one. And it's open until the 29th of October. So there's a few weeks left. And I'm still putting things in the giveaway. So there's a few more items that have gone in there. So go and check it out, have a look. You could win some goodies. So here we changed up the nails a little bit, we've done the glitter fade on the pinky and then I've gone in with the ring finger with the ombre and then the middle finger we've done the marble and then we've done the cluster of crystals on the index finger. I can't remember what I did on the thumb on this one, I think it was another glitter fade. Or glitter ombre, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So we've got all three glitters on there. And these are all in the autumn kit from CJP. They're fabulous. So yeah, that will be the finished design done. So thanks again everyone for watching my video. Um, yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Um, it's amazing. I love you all and thank you so much. I'll see you all in my next one.